been up. Hello you guys and welcome back to Dynamic Touch. Recently I posted a video showcasing what I thought was damaged hair. What I saw was major breakage after using a brush and I thought it was causing my hair to thin out which was a huge concern to me. I even thought it was causing me to have thin ends. I was extremely worried and stressed out about this. Apparently this was all in my head because I recently flat ironed my hair and this is what I found. After taking down and detangling my twist for 14 hours, I was ready to deal with whatever state my hair was in. Upon my evaluation of my hair after detangling my hair, I was shocked to find that my hair was not damaged like I thought it was. I even noted the extreme amount of hair growth. Here are some pictures. Just to make sure, I ended up putting my hair in two ponytails to assess the ends of my hair. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the original video that made me think my hair was damaged versus the video I took after taking down my twist and assessing my hair. My hair has optimal fullness and life. The first video tricked me into believing my hair was damaged when it was indeed not. Here is what I believed happened. My hair routine for heat training is very solid. Thus, my heat trained hair is sleeker than the rest of my hair. Please also keep in mind that I had tons of new growth as well. So of course my natural hair, which is the new growth at the roots, and the hair that is less heat trained on my head, the upper part of my hair, would have more volume when it's straight compared to my ends, which have been heat trained the longest. But once my hair was reverted back to curly, I was able to see volumes in all parts of my hair. So I think it's very interesting how heat training can present itself some way, but when your hair reverts back, all of your hair it has springiness and life to it and body. Here is my afro after I got out of the shower. Here is my hair blown out. Another thing I did not take into consideration is natural hair fall. While heat training for two months, sometimes I did not detangle my hair as often as one might need to, just to be honest. Thus, when I decided to use the wooden brush to detangle my hair, it took out the shed hair, making it appear as though I had lost a lot of hair, when in fact it had been shed hair that had been trapped into my hair strands that I had not properly brushed out of my hair for two months. This hair had needed to escape, and that's what the wooden brush ended up doing. So when I saw this huge wad of hair, I thought that, oh my gosh, it's breakage. Oh my gosh, I have a major setback. When that was in fact just natural hair that I should have lost over time. Here is my hair in its blown out state versus my hair after I flat ironed it with the Korean flat iron. If you are interested in what happens with the Korean flat iron, which is a state of the art technology straight out of Korea. And I think it's important to keep tabs on heated tools, technologies throughout the world so that we can have the best heat training experience. So check out that video if you're interested. So let's take a look at the side by side comparison. So from the side by side comparison of my hair blown out versus my hair flat ironed with the Korean flat iron, you can see that my hair is continuing to thrive with the use of heat. My hair is actually hitting bra strap length now, which is so much longer than I thought my hair actually was. I still want to continue with my future hair plans like I stated in the video before, but now I want to grow my hair as long as possible. I keep seeing a positive trajectory with my heat training and I'm reaching goals that I never even reached when my hair was in its natural state or when I was wearing weaves or when I was wearing braids. To be honest, this is the longest my hair has ever been and I'm so happy that I did not have setbacks and heat is turning out to work so well with my hair care routine. I'm breaking hair care plateaus and hair care boundaries. And it just goes to show you what my sister's company, The Waiting Room NHB can do, not only in my life, but the other women life who are heat training as well. Like she's doing so much to change the game and we're reframing what it is to heat train. We're rethinking these ideas 
and making it and molding it for the use of black women all over the world. And I'm so proud of myself that I wanna to continue to grow my hair. And this is so exciting for me. I look forward to sharing even more positive and great hair care goals and hair care news with you in the future. But first, I would like to know from you guys down below, have you ever experienced this? Have you ever experienced a situation which made you think that you're having hair setbacks or hair damage, but when you take a final look at the situation, it's not as it appears to be. I have experienced this now. I talked to Jocelyn, she has experienced this before. Have you guys experienced it as well? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for tuning into Dynamic Touch and we'll see you guys later. Watch me, watch you, watch you.